Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Beloved Masters, the structured, material world humanity has created over the past many ages is quickly crumbling. Forced, restrictive material boundaries and limitations are being left behind and replaced with the tolerant concepts of fairness and equality. Misaligned beliefs, distorted laws and dogmatic religious teachings are being reassessed and found lacking as the masses shake off the shackles of limitation and seek the empowerment of illumined truth and self-mastery. The sorrow, sacrifice and agony symbolized by the crucifixion are of the past. Triumph, joy and strength will be the focus of spiritual endeavor, and the bliss of the higher realms will be available to those who gain the ability to exist in the more refined fields of consciousness within the higher fourth and fifth dimensions. What awaits you in these glorified realms, dear hearts, is beyond your wildest imaginings. Infusions of love or light will help you harmonize your emotional nature so that you may traverse the multi-levels of the fourth dimension with ease and grace. Focused intelligence and access to your sacred mind are necessary in order to successfully enter and traverse the sub-levels of the fifth dimension. It is important that you practice regular mind clearing via the higher frequencies of light. Remind yourself often, what purpose does it serve to hold on to old grudges and hurtful incidents? There are now multiple realities to choose from. Sooner or later, everyone must become aware that they are multidimensional beings. Accept the truth that you are immortal and begin to live life to the fullest in the eternal now. Developing self-awareness requires focused thought, which leads to pathways of higher consciousness. You must develop and perfect your power of conscious selection within the accepted, narrower spectrum of light and shadow. In the future, more refined reality of humanity, peace will prevail, and conflict will be resolved via diplomacy as everyone learns to seek the highest outcome and the most benevolent solutions. At first you must consciously choose a positive alternative to a negative, habitual response. During your nightly review of your day, envision a higher frequency alternative, and gradually the negative habits will fade away. All facets of manifestation begin internally. The concepts or abstract ideas to be birthed must go through an incubation stage before they can become a reality in the world of form. Remember, all of your life's experiences are a result of the discordant or harmonious frequencies you project, consciously or unconsciously, you are the creator of your material reality. As you make progress in the process of claiming your gifts and attributes of mastery, you will discover that loneliness is an illusion, an impulse of the ego, whereby external stimulus or interaction with other people is sought as a means of enjoyment or validation of self-worth. The desire for solitude becomes a burning impulse for the spiritual aspirant. You must experience aloneness to discover who you really are. It is vitally important that you tune into and monitor your own thoughts, for the constant, Random mind chatter becomes potent thought forms if it is allowed to continue over a long period of time. It is like cutting a groove of thought in your mind recording apparatus, and your subconscious or ego mind will eventually accept these random thoughts as your truth. Each person is unique, and in the process of awakening to your divinity, you will gradually release the confining disguise of the ego personality in your own time and in your own way. Humanity is experiencing three planes of consciousness at once, even though most people are not aware of this fact. Three lower chakras, physical mental body asterisk strong astral influences and mass consciousness belief patterns affect the personality. Emotional body asterisk conditioned impulses via past life memories and DNA ancestral encodings are the norm. The ego desire body asterisk a combination of past and present life conditioning is the driving force behind the ego. The bridge to higher consciousness is the heart. The three planes of consciousness evolve as follows, emotional body senses via the soul or sacred heart center. Mental body consciousness evolves via the sacred mind or soul consciousness. Spiritual awareness becomes the third component via the soul and the oversoul higher self. As you become attuned to the higher frequencies of light, you will become accustomed to the flow of sacred fire breath, 
which has been called the river of life or love or light. There is a hidden, powerful, radiant current of knowledge encoded within this living river of life. It is a code of creative genius, however, you must tap into the wisdom of the sacred mind in order to access this innate power. We also wish to remind you that your hands are one of the most highly developed links to your brain, for there are etheric generator crystals embedded within the palms of the hands. They were designed to be some of the strongest, electromagnetic impulses of the physical vessel. That is why those who have activated or developed the healing power within their hands are so effective in the healing arts. In the future, you have the potential of redeveloping the memory cells within your fingertips so that you may access conscious and subconscious information through touch. A good exercise would be to hold a crystal which you have self-programmed as a generator healing crystal in one of your hands as you focus on activating the healing abilities within the palms of your hands. Via the Infinity Breath Exercise, concentrate on sending or feeling the adamantine particles of light within your palms. Your palms may become very warm or begin to tingle. It may take a while for you to feel the sensations, however, you will gradually gain the ability to send healing creator light to localized parts of your own body. Future healing will include Enlighten Ed dynamic healers with the ability to send almost laser-like healing beams of divine light to their patients. Reiki and other energy modalities are based on this ancient, esoteric knowledge. You, the star seed, are awakening to the awareness of your celestial heritage, which has been encoded within atom seed crystals and stored within your sacred mind. Also, be aware that there is a magnificent history of bravery and excellence woven into the violent and often tedious journey of human evolution. You are experiencing a resurrection of extrasensory abilities and higher consciousness abilities which have been dormant for many ages. However, it takes dedication and effort to open the sealed door to your inner wisdom, the sacred mind. It is vitally important that you learn to trust your own inner guidance once more. A loving and grateful heart purifies the consciousness and creates tranquility and peace of mind. It develops into a constant state of being and not just an occasional practice. It is apparent in every facet of earthly existence that humanity is awakening from the illusional dream of past ages as the refreshing light of God consciousness permeates all creation. Each soul has an unique consciousness code within their diamond core God cell. This code contains the perfect resonance or harmonics for each lifetime. One of the wonders of recalibrating your energetic signature with your soul song is that the attuned frequencies begin to resonate with the streams of living light which connect your soul to many other fragments of your higher self. At that time, your ascension process truly begins. You still cannot comprehend that you are strongly interconnected with all the facets of your higher self. One of the greatest, most astounding awakenings is when you become aware that you are a facet of a great, multidimensional being of light. Once again we will remind you of this important fact, all creation is constantly moving in and out of specific vibrational patterns, which we call energetic signatures, or octaves of energetic sound. You are identified by your energetic signature and your soul song, which determine the light brilliance of your auric field. Your energetic signature is composed of the frequencies of your physical vessel in your third or fourth dimensional environment. The balanced frequencies of the higher fourth and fifth dimensions are stored within your soul self and become part of your soul song. Beloveds ingrain this thought firmly within your mind. There are an incalculable number of unified fields of consciousness. You are in the process of connecting to the magnetic powers of numerous unified fields of consciousness. You are beginning to attune to the vibrations of divine will, divine wisdom and divine love. In the near future, we will be speaking more about the God rays for this sub-universe and how the divine plan is being upgraded and dramatically changed for the future advancement of humanity. The divine blueprint is now changing from an experiment in separation and duality to a new reality of reunification, integration and expansion. Allow us to refresh your memory with this vital information regarding the three primary God rays and the four sub rays as, in the past, they have been radiated to humanity within this sub-universal experience. 
The energy of the first ray mental vibrations of divine will from our Father God enters the auric field first, and then it activates the vital head centers and chakras before filtering throughout the rest of the physical vessel. The energy of the second ray vibrations of love and compassion from our Mother God flows into the auric field first, and then it flows into the throat or thymus and the heart chakras before it filters throughout the entire physical body. The energies of the third ray and its four sub-rays, the son or daughter, active intelligence vibrations, flow throughout the auric field and they focus on the activation of the solar plexus first before coursing through the remaining chakra system. The solar plexus could be called the brain center of the physical body. In the third or fourth dimensional environment, it is a clearing house for the emotions. The four sub-rays are the attributes, virtues and qualities needed to fulfill your mission as co-creators in the realms of materiality. The integration and harmonization of the seven rays of God consciousness are one of the most important steps in the ascension process. You must consciously build your own light center in order to claim your sonship. The triad of sonship consists of the brilliance of your diamond core God cell plus the light of your soul and the light of your sacred heart, all of which create the radiance of your auric field of light. Even though you are not as yet capable of accessing the more powerful, refined vibrational patterns of the higher realms, nevertheless, the vibrant frequencies of all the rays and levels of God consciousness are affecting each of you, as well as the earth, each and every moment of your life. The chakra system has both magnetizing and radiating capabilities. The higher the frequency patterns you can accommodate, the faster and more perfectly your chakras will spin, thereby radiating a greater force and higher frequency patterns throughout your bodily form and out into the world. Energy is always in motion. Creation is always in motion. The only pause is during the still point of new creation. Over the past several years, the term Earth Angel has become a common term in spiritually focused messages and channeled missives. To clarify, this can mean any soul who is steadfastly striving to attain self-mastery so that he or she may join the ranks of world servers. There are many blessed souls who agreed to embody on the earth in order to be representatives of the Archangels, who radiate the energies of the twelve great rays of God consciousness within this sub-universal experience. Remember, an important part of your mission on earth is to help intensify the light of the lower dimensions. We of the angelic realms are here in great force to help you move through these times of evolution and great change with ease and grace, however, you must ask for our assistance, for we cannot infringe upon your free will. Reclaim your rightful place as a master of light, dear ones, and remember, as you integrate the knowledge of spirit and illumined truth, we ask you to go forth and share your wisdom. We are ever near to guide, protect, and inspire you, but mostly to love you. I am Archangel Michael.